Hey everyone, it's Basidian. I am back after a brief holiday hiatus. Uh, had a good holiday. Hope you did too, safely of course. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, we're going to get started on our next rendition of The Little Hope. We're going to be doing episode three. And um, it's been a little bit since I recorded the first two episodes. I think I remember everything, but uh, I guess we'll see. If you're new here, hello and welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back and we'll get right on into it. What was I supposed to be doing? I was told I wasn't paying attention, but... Hmm. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. Uh, at Little Hope Town Hall on Monday, the last residents of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote for disincorporations. Since the closure of the Revenden Textiles factory, a mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants, yada, yada, yada. With no tax revenue coming in, we're faced with no option but to disincorporate. Okie dokie. Cool. What's this? Less RT unreadable. Oh, it's a game score. This place has some great history. More stuff about delinquency and Satanism. Ooh. Also, sorry about my camera being weird. I argued with it for a really long time and I give up. June 6, 1917. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Okay. Are they gonna be ghosts later? Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and. Ooh. You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. Really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. I sense impending Best of doom. luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks, Bella. Very strange. Where it just was? There was a cat. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Uh, drinking, obviously. Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm yeah. not so sure about that. Where else can we go? Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll probably fast forward down the I long creepy road walk. This. I have a bad feeling about Figure this too. Out. Literally <laughs> Oh my god. Demon child? Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. Um, insistent, definitely saw something, or defensive, you don't believe me. And let's be insistent. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Mm, frustrated or subdued? Uh, let's be frustrated. Fine. Don't believe me. You two. We need to stick close. What is that? What is it? It's gone? What the hell? Um. Did you hear that? What on earth is that? 
Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Uh -oh. Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Oh my god. Nothing to see here, folks. Hey, wait for us. God. What is that? Hey. Come and check this out. Thinking about rings. Oh, what is that? Is that a posy? What on earth is that? Not a clue. Oh, it's a weird little doll. Uh... All right, hello. Little doll. What is your name, sir? Cut your dolly. Um, let's be polite to the scary child. Um, Andrew? Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashion Hi, Mary. My hand. Beautiful. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Uh oh. Come play uh -oh. with me. Which is trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. That's it. Sure we are, Mary. Gun. And Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. What the? She? What? <laughs> else out here by the fire what I, I don't see any fire I saw them too cool we're crazy Are you okay astounded did you see that frightened um frightened this place is all wrong whatever happened here it's over now you have no clue you didn't see what we saw I don't get it what exactly happened here a little girl appeared, or I'm not... Well, we... This young girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Her name was Mary. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Oh stressed my god, out. shut up. Yes. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... I dreamed that. She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't oh, place her accent either. Sounded Irish. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary. Did she want to hurt you? She might be malicious because she meant no harm. She didn't. She wanted to play. No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. So I thought they all died and got sucked into this reality out of that house, but if he dreamed that, I don't know what to think. Oh, it's this guy. Well, that escalated rather quickly. All things are okay. fine and moderate, I turned down the music unless... because it copyright claimed me last time. Lord, what fools these mortals be. Mm-hmm. Are you immortal? Is that what that means? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. 
It may be so the moment after death. Mm -hmm. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. Okay. I literally never know These what this guy's talking about. folks seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. Yeah. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Hmm. Perplexing. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me mm -hmm. reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. Okay. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. Sure. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something... Did we ever ask you about any of this? Mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Mm -hmm. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Okay. Does the bus driver have a phone? Cool, it's even more foggy. That little girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Well, yeah, what tipped you off? The clothing? Oh, what? What? What is sound? What is that? Is that a pig? Sounds like a pig, kind of. Um, oh, I thought... I thought something was going to happen. I was just standing there staring at them. Are we ready for the creepy? Oh! You see that? Some the big ass animal. Deer. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. Yes, that's what we need. Better views. Examine whatever that is. Ghost towns of the Northeast. Fighting image of ghost town is popular imagination. Arid desert surrounded by tumbleweed. Blah, blah, blah. The reason for towns to become ghosts vary, but inevitably comes back to economics. The town may have boomed from lodging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town. A uh, factory was built. Mass exodus ensued. Little Hope is a desert town, but the forest that surrounds it continues to lure extreme sports enthusiasts. Do I just talk to him? Okay. Hey. There we go. Oh, I have to be right up next to something for that option to pop up. I understand. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? Uh, bewildered or fearful. Bewildered. I have absolutely no explanation for it. Makes zero sense to me. Mm hmm. What is out there? Reassuring or defiant? Let's be nice. We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. Mm hmm Oh gosh. Ah, uh, no thanks. 
All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, that was a lot of spooky, unexplained stuff. I have a feeling it is going to stop just teasing me with all these monsters, and eventually I'm going to have to deal with them. So that's fun. Um, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate the support and you being here. You are always welcome to come into my Discord. Links are in the description down below. We have votes for what game series I'm going to be doing next. Um, I was going to be doing Silent Hill Homecoming, but then I got this game as a gift. So I'm going to go through this one first and then we're going to be doing Silent Hill. Uh, you can always follow me on Twitter as well or like and subscribe to the channel. All of these things help support me and I appreciate all of it. And anyway, I'm going to record the second episode now. See you when it comes out.